All right, welcome back to Aaron's Hobbies Presents. Today's, today's physical, um, All right, welcome back to Aaron's Hobbies Presents. Today's teacher tip is going to be physical aspects of the classroom that help with behavior. These are things that are physically in the room or visuals that I use that help the classroom run smooth, quickly, and calmly. Let's check them out. Okay, so first off, I have my wiggle square. This is something in the room that allows kids to get up and wiggle if they need to. If I'm teaching a whole group and the kids are sitting, if this square is free, they can get up and they can come and they can wiggle and they can move and they can get all of their energy out. It's very important to have a space like this for your kids who just need to get up and move. I need to do that as a teacher whenever I'm in trainings or when I'm in uh, workshops. So I think it's important for the kids to have a place that they know it's okay to get their wiggles out. All right, so next up we've got the important question X. This is where the kids come when I am in stations teaching small group, doing very important intervention. This is the place that the kids come. They stand on the X and they raise their hand. If they need a question that the class genius can't answer or their team can't answer, this is where they come stand. You've got to give the kids somewhere that they know they can go and ask a question if it's important instead of just coming to your table and constantly interrupting your small group. They know to wait here until I address them. All right, so this is my who's out board. I've got a little clip right here with a marker and a sock. If the kids need to leave the room, they write their name on this board right here. That way, if somebody asks to leave, to go to the other bathroom, things like that, if I see a name on here, I know that somebody's already left. And if I'm doing my class count and I think I'm missing a kid, I can look on here to see who's gone out of the room. Helps me keep track of where they've gone and how many are out of the room. So one more right here is where they line up. It's important to know where the leader stands and then the rest of the kids know they need to walk on this red line. You've got to give them very specific boundary lines of where to line up, how to line up, things like that. Some of these kids have never been in school before, so you've got to make sure you have very clear expectations. All right, well, that was just a really quick teacher tip on some physical behavior management systems I have in my room. The main point of those things is you've got to plan for all parts of your classroom. Make sure the kids have very clear expectations of where they go if they have a question. What do they do if they have a question? Where do they go if they need to wiggle? Those kind of things. Just plan ahead and think, what are the issues I have and what are some things I can put in place in my classroom that help with behavior management? Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.